Hello again, I am Blunty and welcome to CES. <laughs> 3D TV has become something of a divisive thing. Some people love it, some people hate it with an often bizarrely disproportionate aggression. Personally, I like it, but of course having to wear those glasses can be a big pain in the ass. Even more so if it's the active type that needs recharging and batteries and all that stupid carry-on. Glasses-free 3D TV is something of a holy grail then. Okay, uh, I'm Leo Riley. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Stream TV Networks. We're a uh, Philadelphia-based technology company. Uh, we have de developed technology called Ultra D. Uh, Ultra D is a uh, combination of a hardware and software technology for 3D without glasses uh, displays. Um, the hardware part of the uh, technology involves the development of an optical system. The optical system compo uh, consists of an optical stack, which is a glass, a proprietary lens design uh, that is bonded to a standard panel. Uh, and on behind the panel we put a rendering chip which is a semiconductor. The rendering chip does a lot of the heavy lifting we say in the, uh, the way the information is pushed to the display to give you the 3D without glasses technology. Uh, the software part is great because you know the biggest problem with uh, new technologies especially with displays and with 3D is you want to make sure you have content available to use the technology. Uh, we have another product that's developed called the C-Cube. The C-Cube is a set-top box that takes incoming content signals and converts it to 3D without glasses in real time. So the content can be either 2D or 3D with glasses content, such as a Blu-ray or over the, air, or over the cable or over the satellite transmission. It takes that content, runs it through its process and our algorithms, and, and uh, delivers 3D without glasses content to the display. And that's really what Ultra D is all about. And I'm happy to report that this new technology works fantastically and it works far better than the glasses-free 3D screens that we're already familiar with on the likes of small single viewer devices like the Nintendo 3DS for example. The viewing angle while maintaining the 3D effect is surprisingly wide so it's easy for groups of people to all get around it and see it properly and I saw no ghosting or blurring or other distracting artifacts happening at all. The 3D effect was entirely convincing, crisp and deep and beautiful. And for gaming, where the 3D effect is even more important than on TV or movies and stuff or bring you into the world presented to you, was an experience second to none. The Stream TV folks aren't actually going to make their own TVs. Instead, they're licensing this technology they've come up with to established TV makers. And I for one hope it catches on like wildfire. It's finally a practical and hassle-free 3D TV experience. So keep your eye out for that Ultra D logo and check it out as soon as you can. I think you'll be impressed as I was. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for even more CES finds. I am Blunty and I will catch you next time.